we are coating the outer edge and o-ring of the stationary seal face with SDP lubricant. The stationary face is then carefully placed on the shaft and using our PVC pipe it is pressed firmly into the seal bore making sure it is fully seated. Once in place the seal face can be wiped with a soft clean cloth. We then coat the rubber elastomer of the rotating face portion of the mechanical seal and slide it onto the shaft. Again, we use the PVC pipe to help push it in place and make sure it is fully seated. Then the impeller shims and thrust washer are placed on the shaft and slid into place. The threaded end of the shaft is then coated with never seize and the seal spring is placed on the shaft. The supported impeller is then positioned and the drive end of the shaft is turned with a spanner wrench to ensure the impeller is threading on smoothly and easily. The clearance between the impeller back vanes and back plate should be checked. The goal is about 40 thousandths as we are shooting for 30 thousandths once the impeller is fully tightened. The acceptable range is between 22 to 38 thousandths. We are using our special shaft wrench and a wooden block to make sure that we get the impeller fully tightened. Using this process in reverse is the easiest and best way to remove a tightened impeller. We use our air pressure gauge installed to the run dry port on the back plate to fill and air test the mechanical seal. Our target is 7 psi. Try not to exceed 8 psi as too much pressure could force the lip seal out of the back plate. If the pressure holds without dropping, the seal installation was successful. At that point, red Loctite can be applied to the impeller bolt. It can be installed and tightened. 